General, driven by the memory of his wife and convinced by your words, boldly steps into the chamber. His brain is removed once again and placed into a specially constructed container. Now the sole organic influence on the calculator's supercomputer neural network, he finds himself united with an enemy he had sworn to destroy. His only objective is to restore order to the chaotic wastes and provide his beloved wife with the security he had promised so long ago. The new calculator dedicates its existence to the rescuing of pure blood humanity from the brink of destruction. Order is established, with the Brotherhood soldiers and calculator robots enforcing new laws and spearheading the task of rebuilding and re-educating mankind. The first step is to comfort the battle-weary region. Combined groups of Brotherhood soldiers and robots are dispatched to patrol troubled areas. These forces are charged with the task of dealing the bandit lords a blow that will take them years to recover from. Technology is slowly reintroduced into the land. Irrigation systems are established, bringing water to the barren soils for the first time in decades. New settlements spring up as trade routes become safe from attacks. Once again, humanity begins to prosper. For the various mutates of the land, their destiny is somewhat darker. All known genetic divergence are immediately rounded up into internment camps and registered. Those that comply are forced to endure harsh conditions in labor gulags, where their unique abilities are exploited in tasks considered too dangerous or simply beneath pure-blood humans. Humans who speak out against this new system are disciplined or silenced. Those mutants who choose to flee are ruthlessly hunted like animals. These unfortunates are captured, killed, and displayed across the region as a gruesome reminder to all impure life forms that disobedience from lesser creatures will be met with uncompromising punishment. Small factions of humans, defiant of the new Brotherhood dictatorship, join their outcast cousins to form the Mutant Liberation Army. Any creatures suspected of supporting this outlawed faction are quickly rounded up and interrogated by the General's hand-picked inquisitors. Many are never seen again. But for every disappearance, for every public execution by the new regime, another rebel joins the outlaw movement. Soon, the Brotherhood finds itself under repeated attack. The Mutant Liberation Army attempts to utilize guerrilla tactics to offset the overwhelming combined force of robot and Brotherhood soldiers. The rebels fight for many reasons now. Revenge, freedom, and a chance for a better life. Some join the battle because waging war is all they know. It is a struggle they are destined to lose. For humanity, however, progress is made. It comes slowly at first, for time is an ingredient as important as order and determination when great changes are to be made. Soon, without the required resources and firepower, the Mutant Liberation Army is driven west, back to an area where many of them met bitter defeat not long ago. Their actions becoming more and more desperate when they realize they are being driven back into a region controlled by the Old Brotherhood. Humanity rules the land again, while the mutates have nothing but death. It lies waiting over every hill, behind every rock, through every crosshair. They are without justice. They are without hope. Such is life in the wasteland.